As promised, here's a video of the 2019 F350. Obviously, it has the 6.7. I traded in my 2018 for this truck, uh, mainly for the simple fact needed a dually. And well, there you go. There's a dually. The bumper on the front is a GR bumper. Bought it from Colt at Fear No Deer in Cheyenne, Wyoming. I've already wrecked with one of these bumpers and I gotta say um, it did very well so the color I don't know how they say it I think it's like a gaudy black or something um, need the sunshine to really be able to see it you know you can't see like this but it's got a lot more sparkle in it it's not like the shadow black was where it was just really just black I took the extended running boards off of my 2018 and put them on this truck when I traded in. Um, I really just like it. You know, there's some guys that are total haters to this, but I really like it. Very supportive, and getting in the toolbox isn't really that bad at this level. On the other trucks, it is a little sticky. But if you were to stand on this, plenty of you know, visual. DOT required. Fire extinguisher. On the inside, very, very identical to my 18. This one's the ultimate package, so you can see extra LEDs. Or no, they're not LEDs, I don't think. Or maybe they are. I don't know. Ambient lighting. All that stuff. Navigation. I only got 432 miles on it. It's getting about, I guess, 14 and a half miles a gallon, breaking it in. Um, I also took my WeatherTech mats out of it from the other truck. Direct swap to this truck. The back's pretty much exactly the same, except this go around. I did order it with seat heaters for the rear, just in case. I have to ride back here. Just kidding, it's my passengers. One of the things that I made sure to order was the quad beam headlights. Basically LEDs. I gotta tell you, these suckers are bright. Uh, very worth it to me. Looks good with the LEDs on top too. But at nighttime, those things light it up. And if I remember, I'll get a video clip of it in this video. Another thing I got on this truck that the Limited had that I keep meaning to make a video of but haven't is the remote tailgate. See this little guy here? Double click it. Pretty handy. Got the prep package. Got some extra parts laying around from when the airbags went in. These are the Ford mud flaps that you can buy at the parts counter. And I think they're like 160 bucks. Pretty cheap. They'll do all right for now. Not my favorite, but we're uh, gonna run them for now. I got my airbags on it. You can see right there. And I got the wireless controller for it still. Besides that, not really that different from my 18. I didn't get the moonroof just because I think it was $1,500 or $2,000 upgrade, and I didn't want to have to do that. I think I paid, I want to say it was just under $65 for this whole truck. And by the time you get out the door with warranty and all the other stuff, it was under 70. Once you know it, this side looks just like the other side. Got 410 rear end. Haven't got to pull with it yet. Highly recommended to break them in before you pull with them. I also put my weather text from the 18 that were on the front on this one. Direct swap. 
Besides that, about to take it to town. So yeah, this truck is getting about 14 and a half miles to the gallon. My other one, the single wheel got, it just depended, anywhere from 17 to 18. But realistically, it was 16 to 17 most of the time. Two hours of idle time. Just hit two, yesterday it was one. And it does have the sensors for all six tires. And as you can see, a little uneven, so I have to fix that. Has all the fun stuff that you could ever really want to see. Forty-eight gallon fuel tank. Um, yeah, yeah. Hold on. It does have the backup camera. Um, for this truck, I did not do the 360 camera like I had on my other one. Uh, simply because I was trying to keep the price down a little bit. And I find I don't really use it that much. I'm more of a mirrors guy. I like looking at mirrors. And um, for the, what are they called? The third brake light camera where you can see your gooseneck ball and you're hooking up. Uh, it's nice and all, except for on my truck. Can't see it anyways. So the toolbox blocked the camera, and I didn't need the camera up front because I have that bumper in the way anyways, so I didn't feel like spending 1500 for a ranch hand that's overpriced to hell. Uh, this bumper is only 900 bucks. Yeah, it's a proven good bumper and better powder coating. But anyways, we're going to roll to town. Good old 7.3. And I added toolboxes to that trailer. There's limited. Still need to get a video on that. And just like the other truck, it's a pretty quiet truck. And if you push the go pedal, it gets up and goes pretty well. But I really have no complaints about this truck so far. Everything on it seems to be absolutely perfect for what I want and what I need. And getting pretty eager to put the new trailer on it. The new trailer is a 40 footer and it's down Texas. So the next video is going to be going to get it. Anyways, if I remember on the way home, I'll get a video of how the headlights look on this same road.